Hey, what's up, SMT Nation? We're doing some CBRS testing and some N41 testing. So that's T-Mobile and Verizon. Uh, just to let you know what's going on with my configurations here. I have Verizon on the iPhone 12. That one's going to be connected to the LTE setting. I've got Verizon. Uh, this one is going to be in just the default setting. So it's in 5G mode, but it's currently connected to 4G LTE. So we'll see if that stays and that's the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus. And then we have the Google Pixel 5. That's got T-Mobile. It is connected to 5G. I was able to confirm an N41 site uh, just on the other side of that parking lot over there. So uh, anyways, also there, you will see the Band 48 CBRS small cell. That uh, connection up there should be real fast. So we should be seeing good stuff from both Verizon and from T-Mobile. We'll start with the iPhone 12 on LTE mode for Verizon on the right, and then we've got the M41 going on there in the middle on the Google Pixel 5. Uh, so this is Brook Park Road. I'm in Parma, Ohio. Um, or this might actually be Brook Park. Uh, I think it's Brook Park, actually. Anyways, uh, you'll see that it is getting pushed to the max there. All right, so these are probably, I don't know, it's either a 60 or an 80 megahertz channel. I'm not quite sure. I don't have a Galaxy for it to check it, but... You will see that the CBRS is looking good. 27 millisecond ping, 480 down, 56 on the up. So that's holding up quite nicely. I'm going to go ahead and run the, the Galaxy and see how that holds up. There's the N41, 149 down, 33 on the up, and 14 millisecond ping. All right, and, you know, it's getting pushed. It's definitely getting pushed. That's what that capacity is for. Now, you'll see that the for whatever reason, the firmware, Samsung software, I don't know what it is, but uh, the, the LT mode on the iPhone it runs better than the 5G setting. So you will see that it jumped right back into 5G on the Galaxy. So because of that, I tend to gravitate towards the iPhone when it comes to these speed connections. I'm not really sure why that is. 241 down there, 50 on the up. So the uplink pretty much the same. But the speed's been 480 down on the iPhone, right? So huge difference there. I'm going to go into Samsung Band Selector after this test. I'm going to lock in um, LT only, and I'm going to see what happens. All right, so I don't know. It's been something I've been noticing a lot lately. I'm not sure why, what the situation is, but it, it definitely connects differently. Uh, so what we'll do is I'm going to go into the, the RF testing mode, and I'm going to see what's happening here. I'm going to go into performance mode setting. All right, so we got 20 megahertz of AWS. And we're gonna have to speed test this. Put some strain on it. Okay. And we'll see what we're connected to. There we go. Okay, so we do have N5, 10 megahertz. 20 megahertz of 48, 5 megahertz of band 2, shout out to Nikki. All right, so that's that's it. So this must be doing the 60 megahertz of band 48, and this one's only doing 20, but it's doing 20 on AWS and then 10 on N5. I'm going to go ahead and switch this up. I'm going to put this into LT all. Okay, so now we're in LTE all. You'll see it went into 4G LTE in the top right hand corner. And we'll go ahead and speed test it and see what happens. See what goes on for the spectrum, the bands. 27 millisecond ping. Up. Oh. <laughs> yeah, see. Yeah, we're already there. 500 megabits down. 27 millisecond ping. Uplink unchanged. 20, 20, 5. So I added an extra 20 megahertz of CBRS. Try it again. Yeah, we're cooking. 400 plus. 20 megahertz of band 48, 20 megahertz band 48, 5 megahertz of band 2. I don't know why they're doing that. I've been speculating that maybe they're ready to DSS band 2, but that's just speculation. I can't confirm or deny. 
So that's what we got here. T-Mobile got some capacity. They're pushing it. The users are really taking advantage of it. We got a lot of CBRS coming up here in Cleveland. A ton of small cells getting that treatment. C-band's next and millimeter wave is ongoing. So that's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think of the N41 getting pushed to the limit there. I'll run another one. What do you guys think of the CBRS between the iPhone and the Galaxy and that ongoing firmware issue I've seen there? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yep, thanks for watching, y'all. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Thank you for taking this opportunity to watch the SMT YouTube channel. If you appreciated this video, give it a like and a share to all your favorite social media platforms. Thank you in advance for that. Also, check out some of the links in the description box. We have the SMT Patreon page. We also have the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech. And do check out the audio-only podcast available on all the major podcast platforms. And if you are new have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.